Okay, so today we have a question about composite functions. Specifically, we're given a composite function, we're given the inner function, and we're asked to find the outside function. So in this case, the inner function will be g of x, the outside function will be f of x, and we know that f of g of x is equal to 2x plus 3. What I would like to do is to first of all rewrite the composite function in a different notation because it just helps me see things better and clearer. So we know that f of g of x, this is just the same as saying f of brackets g of x. And we know this is equal to 2x plus 3. Now this helps me see things better because, well, see we have f of g of x and what we want to find out is f of x. And the only difference here is what's inside the function of f of x, which is g of x and x. So if somehow I manage to change, so if I manage to convert this g of x into x, then I'll have my function. Well, that's our clue then. So we need to find a way to convert g of x into x. Well, let's see what we know about g of x. Well, we know that g of x equals to x to the power x to the power 1 over 3. And what we want to do here is find the the inverse function of g of x. And the way I like to do it is say let y equals to g of x. Now I solve for x, so y equals to x to the power of 1 over 3. So y cubed equals x. And so we have found our inverse function, which is g of minus 1 of x equals to x cubed. Okay, great. So how does this help us? Well, we know that if you take the inverse of a function, then you're just right back at where you started from. So to make that more clear, um, if we do g of x, and then, so I, I have the variable x, I applied some function into it, onto it. And then if I do the inverse of that function now, well, I'm just right back at x. So let's just uh, give an example. For example, say that we have a function h of x, and that what it does is just adds 1 to the variable, so plus 1. So the inverse of this function, so h minus 1 of x, would just be x minus 1. So you notice, so for example, let's say let x equal to 2 then h of 2 will be 2 plus 1, which is 2, which is 3, sorry. And then if we apply the inverse now, so if we say h minus 1 of h of 2, so that's, we solve the inside function first, so we know h of 2 is just 3, so this is h minus 1 of 3, and that would just be 3 minus 1, which is 2. And you can see we're right back at where we started from. And this is exactly what we're going to use. We know we know g of x, we know g minus 1 of x, and we want x. Well, this is exactly what we're going to, what we're going to use is say g of g minus 1 of x equals x. Okay. Well, that means, if I scroll down a bit, that just means that if I have f of g of x, sorry, if I have f of x, I can just substitute this. I can just say this is equal to f of g of g minus 1 of x. Because we said that x equals to g of g minus 1 of x, so I can just substitute in there. And this is very good because, well, we know what f of g of x is. We were given that in the question we, right here. It says that f of g of x is 2x plus 3. So if we use that knowledge, we have that f of g of g minus 1 of x equals to 2. And instead of x, we have g minus 1 of x. Well, that's just 2 times g minus 1 of x plus 3. 
okay, and we know what g minus 1 of x is. Well, it's right here. We know that g minus 1 of x is x cubed. So we can just say that f of g of g minus 1 of x equals to 2x cubed plus 3. And great, we're done. Because this is just x. So let me rewrite this. This is just f of x equals to 2x cubed plus 3. And we found our expression for f of x. Okay, so now just to check, just to be sure, let's see. So we were given that f of g of x equals to 2x plus 3. And so let's see if this answer gives us the same result. So we know that g of x equals to x to the power 1 over 3. And we said that f of x equals to 2x cubed plus 3. Well, let's see. So we have f of g of x. And this is the same as f of x to the power of 1 over 3. And now we substitute that into this equation. So this is just 2. And instead of x, we have x to the power of 1 over 3. All cubed plus 3. And obviously here the powers cancel out because we multiply them. 3 times 1 over 3 is 1. So 2x plus 3. And we get exactly what we had. So we know that our answer is correct, which is a good way of checking. And this technique, you can use it to find any outside function of a composite function. Hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.